Hello everybody. I'm going to show you the anatomical names of some of your body parts. So if we start from the head part, this forehead area is called the frontal. Side of your head, both sides are temporal and the back of the head is called the occipital area or region. Then the area of your eyes are called orbital. Nose area is the nasal and your cheeks are called the buccal or buccal area. And the area of your mouth is the oral area, okay? You know that we say orally by mouth. And the chin area is called the mental. So this is the mental area, okay? And then if you go below the head, the neck area is called the cervical. And the middle of the chest, the center of the chest is the sternal area. The bone here is the sternum. So this is the sternal area. Okay. And the whole front of the chest or upper part of your front of the trunk is called the thoracic. Okay. Thoracic. And then below the thoracic, your tummy area, this is called the abdominal and where the umbilicus is, that is the umbilical, belly button, umbilical area, okay? And then the back of the shoulder is called scapular. So back of the shoulder is called the scapular because the bone there is the scapula, okay? Then the arm, arm, area is called the brachial and if you go down forearm is called antebrachial so brachial antebrachial and the front of the elbow is called cubital okay cubital area from where we draw the blood right from the cubital vein okay then um, back of the elbow is called olecranal. So front is the cubital, back is the olecranal. Okay. And then wrist area is called the carpal. The bones here are carpal bones. Okay. So wrist area is the carpal. Then palmar, palm, and digital are the fingers, okay? Now, if you see the lower part of the body, the groin area is called the inguinal, where the thigh is attached to the trunk. Groin area is inguinal. And then the back of the upper part of the thigh your buttock area is called gluteal, okay? And then just below the abdominal area here, this area is called the pelvic. So this is thoracic, abdominal, pelvic, and then the area where the genital organs, that area is called the pubic. P-U-B-I-C, pubic. And around the genital organ, between the genital and anus, that area is called the perineal. Now, the thigh is called the femoral because the bone here is the femur. So, and then the front of the leg, this is thigh, this is leg in anatomy. The front of the leg, shin area is called crural 
and the back of the leg is called the sural. So, crural, sural. Okay. And the ankle area is called the tarsal. So, the wrist area is carpal because carpal bones are here. The ankle area is called the tarsal because tarsal bones are there. And the heel of the foot is called calcaneal. The bone of the heel is calcaneus. Okay. So let me quickly go over again from the top. Forehead is the frontal, two sides, temporal, back, occipital. Then the eyes are orbital, nose, nasal, cheeks are buccal or buccal, then oral, mouth, and chin is mental. Okay. Then the neck is cervical. Top of the shoulder are acromial and the front of the chest, that's the sternal, middle of the front and whole upper part is the thoracic. And then this is the abdominal. In the center of the abdominal where you have the umbilicus, that's the umbilical and then pelvic, then pubic then perineal. This is brachial, antibrachial, carpal, palmar, digital. Okay. And then inguinal, the groin, femoral. Then front of the leg is crural, back is sural. The heel of the foot is calcaneal. The ankle area is called the tarsal. Okay. And if you see the back of the shoulder, scapular, okay? And the back of the lower part of the trunk, that's the lumbar area. You have the kidneys in that area, inside the. Also, the term cephalic, C-E-P-H-A-L-I-C, cephalic indicates the head. And... The term caudal, C-A-U-D-A-L, caudal, indicates the tail. So towards the head, we'll say cephalic end, and towards the tail, we'll say the caudal end. And this armpit area is called axillary. So axillary is the armpit. And... The front of the knee is called the patella because the bone here is the patella. So patella is the front of the knee and the back of the knee is called the popliteal. Okay, so uh, cephalic refers to the head or towards the head and caudal the tail or towards the tail, axillary, armpit, patellar, front of the knee, popliteal, back of the knee. So those are the important body areas and the anatomical terminologies we use to indicate those areas. Now I'm going to show you the correct anatomical position of the human body. So, the correct anatomical position of the human body is you will st stand straight, erected, the body is erected, st stand still, and your eyes will look straight forward, okay? And the head is straight, your arms are at the side of the trunk like this okay and now you see that my head is straight up eyes are looking straight forward and my body is erected arms are at the side of my trunk or body and 
another important thing is that your palm should face forward outwards okay and the thumbs should be laterally so this is the right you know uh, direction of your hand and the legs should be slightly apart and the toes should be directed forward okay so the legs should be slightly apart and the toes of your foot should be directed forward so this is the correct anatomical position of the human body okay